New video and 911 calls are now public, stemming from a deputy involved shooting in Linwood. And they reveal the man shot dead by deputies was armed. The shooting happened yesterday at a gas station near Long Beach Boulevard and Magnolia Avenue. KCAL 9's Brittany Hopper has the latest on the investigation. New surveillance video released today by the Sheriff's Department appears to show 28 year old Nicholas Robertson holding what investigators say is a gun as he crossed the street in Linwood Saturday afternoon. Before this new video was released, Robertson's family passionately denied he had a gun. After seeing today's video that was released, what are your thoughts on him holding a gun? My thoughts on that, it's like, you know, I, I, I can't really go through with who was right or who was wrong. You know, they had a protocol or what have you, but when you look at the video, it's obvious that he didn't pose a threat. But sheriff's deputies point out that prior to the shooting, six 911 calls came from people who said they heard shots and saw a man with a gun acting erratically. It's actually okay. on pump shooting in the air, okay. but he turned right how or left. How many times know. like did he shoot in, into the air? Uh, like at least six, seven times in the air. And once deputies arrived, they say Robertson did not drop the gun, even after deputies told him to multiple times. Robertson's family held a vigil tonight for the father of three at the same place where deputies fired 33 shots. This is cell phone video taken by an eyewitness across the street from the shooting. After the first shot and he hit the ground, he was immobilized. It was nothing you can really do to him. And, you know, just to stand there and keep shooting and reload and keep shooting, it, it, it was just, it was uncalled for. Investigators say after it was all over, they found Robertson's gun was not loaded, but he did have ammunition on him. And the sheriff said today, Robertson posed a risk to a number of people in the area. We showed that he had a weapon in his hand throughout the whole encounter. Um, there's going to be criticism anytime there's uh, a deputy involved shooting. We've seen that, and particularly in the last uh, two years or so, uh, the sentiment across America has been critical. Uh, that's why we've come out today to try and be as transparent as we can. Now, the two deputies involved in this shooting have both been reassigned from field duty, which is standard procedure during the investigation. In Linwood, Brittany Hopper, KCAL 9 News.